does desert does Welcome, yo, classic yo, to Dessert in the Desert with your host, the big guy, Ryback. I'm sitting out here, guys, it's scorching hot, and I uh, just had a massive, my first leg workout in three weeks. I took 15 days off with the stem cell on the shoulder, and then this is my first whole week back, the leg workout was my final workout before the 15 days off of the stem cells. So it ended up being about three weeks before I did legs and I'm feeling it. And I went hard in the paint today, feeling good, feeling great. Did a lot of core, did my P90X Ab Ripper X. You wanna put yourself through the paces, guys. I do abs with weights once a week and then I do a whole day. Today I did my core with my legs. Um, but typically I, de I designate an entire day to my core. I think our core is one of the most, it, it is. Without our core, we can't have anything else. And a, a lot of, I've always done core work, but I never, with the amount and how big I am, I need to do a lot of core work. And uh, I've, I've really got my core, especially with all my back issues and my disc issues. It's, it's really, I'm working with some of the top people and getting, picking great people's experts' brains and a uh, big Neanderthal like me just fucking picking and choosing what works and here I am. Desert in the desert, dessert in the desert here and today I bring you guys yogurt land. It only took me two fucking minutes to get what the video is actually about. Which in all seriousness, the video is always me talking just with a different gimmick plugged in. Today's gimmick is yogurt land. Uh, des desert, des <laughs> Dessert in the desert. Sweet stuff for dessert. Sand for desert. That's how you know how to spell it. I've already told you guys that. I got I got a classic non-fat cookies and cream. I believe it's non-fat. It's either non-fat or low fat. Either way, it's it's not a lot of fat. A lot of sugar though. So, but I just had a massive leg workout. Today is my day to, to eat a cheat meal or two. I haven't had anything bad all day. I've I've been on my diet, been going strict. I've actually dropped a few pounds. You know, I can tell. I look, hey, you look a little thinner in the video. Shut the fuck up. You can't tell shit in these videos. Jeffrey, and you bitch Karen, I hear you over there fucking talking under your breath. I'd like to speak to the manager of Yogurt Land. I don't think it's love that. No, you're just a fat bitch. Mm. There's nothing wrong with it if you're a good person. But if you're not, you're a Karen. You can go fuck yourself. Mm. This is like the yogurt on Seinfeld. Another round for me and my friends. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It's an inside joke with me and Zigman. Mm. Where the yogurt turned out, it wasn't fat-free. I think that's what it was. It wasn't sugar-free or... Mm. This reminds me of that. Mm. Never go wrong with yogurt land on a date. Tell a woman you want to take her to yogurt land. But, you know, they're not going to say no. You could be ugly as fuck. I've got many women to go to yogurt land. I'm pretty sure they didn't give a shit about me. But they loved yogurt. Mm. Man, this is good. So good. Cold. No shit, right? It's yogurt. Man. lovely young woman 
she had to have been, uh, I'd say <clears throat> she was young. I'd say either young, young 20s or 20, around the 20, age 20 range. She's in there working out. Always makes me feel good. Told me, just said, oh my, oh my God, are you Ryback? And I take off my head, took off my headphones prior and I nod, I guess I am. And she goes, oh my God, you were my favorite when I used to watch it. And I uh, just said, well, I'll be back later this year. Not there. I go, but somewhere else. And she goes, oh, my God, really? And I said, yeah. And she goes, I'll be watching. And that always makes me feel good, whether she's lying or not. But it happens quite often whenever I go out, which I don't go out. I, I stay pretty low key. But the, um, you know, and I don't want to be, you got to fine line, guys. It's a fine line. I'm very humble. Some of you may not think that, but if you meet me, you'll know I am. I like to joke a lot. And I don't like to be braggadocious or, you know, I don't want to ever, I just share information. I never want to toot my own horn, if you will, but honk, honk, I'm the motherfucking big guy. And I'll honk my horn all I fucking want. It's my channel. I'll be back, sweetie. Be back with a vengeance. I made a bold statement once to John Laurinaitis when they tried to fire me before I came back as Ryback and I said, in one year's fucking time, I'm gonna be the biggest star on the roster. And one year to that date, I was red hot in the main event and arguably I was, I was right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna make another bold prediction. This time, not just to one guy. To everyone. And in one year's time, history will repeat itself. But not the negative history. The history will be rewritten in a much more favorable way. And I'm very confident. I am beyond lucky and blessed. I've got a great support staff with all of you. So much love and support out there. I'm very motivated. It's a hell of a story. So, I've got a lot of work to do. And I do the work. I've done the work the entire time. It hurt. To prepare for that moment. Now, when the health, that little health bar for you video game people, we're just getting that health bar back up to full strength. Or as close to full strength as humanly possible. Who the fuck is texting me? Oh. And, uh, be time to drop the hammer once again. Mmm. This yogurt's so good. I do want to say too, I like to talk with everybody out there, with everything. We have to be very careful guys with the media. The media is not our friend and I don't watch a lot of news. The news I see, if I see a little on social media, it's very limited. We have to be very careful. There's a lot of messages being spread around right now that are not <clears throat> that's trying to create a lot of division amongst people. And whether I'm not, I'm not a political guy, I never will be. I don't believe it. I just, the whole thing is, is corrupt to me. There's a lot of stuff going on and it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. But I look at things and um, I just think we have to be very careful. I think the media, with everything going on, 
and you know, and I don't agree with the rioting and looting, and that and that shit needs to stop. But protesting should be towards the news media, and I don't need to go into great detail. But I promise you, they are a much bigger problem, and they have been from the beginning. They don't have our best interest at heart. They never had. They never did, and they never will. Because there's a lot going on right now that they have painted a certain picture and they put that out on multiple things. And um, we have to educate ourselves with the right information because there's a lot of misinformation out there. I think we need to be level-headed um, and not being so quick to attack I think a lot of people don't know how to communicate and they, they go right to insulting and then they don't understand why they get blocked or things in because it's they are they don't express their opinion in a way that allows in in a way that, that, that is receivable to somebody. There's a lot going on. A lot. I've seen a lot of there's so many good cops out there, guys. And I've seen videos that there's no context put in it and they're edited towards only a sort certain per portion of the video and, and media outlets feed this stuff out as well as certain people trying to stir people up and uh we just got to be careful there's good people and there's a lot of bad people there's a lot of evil in this world a lot of it and our system is not perfect by any means. But I also know that without any system, humans are not capable of running. Humans have killed each other from the beginning of time. And there's a lot of evil people out there. There's a lot of bad people. A lot of good, but there's a lot of bad. And it doesn't take many for things to go haywire. So we have to, we have to educate ourselves and we have to be aware be understanding all great minds have said a lot of the greatest people limit your news limit the media and now with social media it's in everyone's hands and there's so much information out there we got to just be that's why I say I said we have to disconnect to connect and I really believe that that we have to spend less time on our phones. And our phones are great. And I believe, I don't, I'm not trying to say we don't need to, like, I think they're very warranted. And I think they're great for connecting and communicating to a degree. Uh, but we have TVs strapped to our hand that are a lot more dangerous than TVs all day long. We're giving them to our kids. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's dangerous. So I think if we disconnect from them and work on, you know, just imagine we didn't have these phones and I, and I grew up without it for a good portion of my life. Imagine how much time we just waste sitting on and scrolling and getting angry. We were never meant to have these many opinions put in our heads. We're not. It's information overload. It creates depression. It creates anger. It creates resentment. It, it, it shows our insecurities which if we can master ourselves, we can become much more aware of how to not let it affect us. But at the end of the day, it's distracting us from working on ourselves. And you have to think, if you just didn't have your phone for a weekend, say TV, none of it, what would you do? You would go and do things. You would find things to fill the, your time and maybe not, maybe some people will just get drunk and high all day and not do anything. That's very possible. But if they didn't have anything to sit and waste their time with, maybe they wouldn't. What I'm saying though is if we find ways to take the past of what living life and connecting and doing things to build our self esteem, which through exercise, through activities, through having real relationships with other human beings, joining a yoga class, Go a kickboxing class, a boxing class, a Muay Thai class, a jiu-jitsu class. When we start doing things, wrestling, training, whatever it is, it creates self-esteem and confidence. 
that there's not so much anger on here. And there's always going to be anger and negativity and all that on here. But I think it's what's going on in the world is a, is, is a much bigger problem than just what even the little things the media is highlighting or trying to highlight. Think about it. Oh, this is so, those last few things with it melted. Oh, I never want it to end. I never end. Okay, it ended. Ooh. Woo. Woo. Ah, put that there. A little sugar rush there. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That was a d dessert in the desert here with the big guy Ryback. Is that a fucking Viagra pill in my truck? I'm pretty sure that's a Viagra pill. Where'd that come from? Ah, shit! I just dropped a bag. Ah! I want to fucking take that later. Shit! I don't know how... When the f it must have when I was driving. Maybe I had that in here from a long time ago. Why did I have a Viagra pill? My truck. Fuck, I gotta find that now. That thing's fucking like golden during these times. Anyways, guys, that was Dessert in the Desert, um, and uh, that, that yogurt was cookies and cream, fat-free, I believe. I'm giving that five stars. It's absolutely delicious. I enjoyed that so much, and I've enjoyed this conversation, guys, and that's two thumbs up also on that. Thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Feed me! more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah, new customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.